Wait, have I just never noticed there's a call help button? Yeah. Help has arrived. The elevator door finally opens. I don't want to brag, but everybody wants me to work for them. My YouTube channel is basically a resume at this point because I've worked so many jobs and I've been great at all of them. So once again, I must say I am quitting YouTube to become... I'm not sure yet. I'm going on an interview. Apparently it's the same company that hired me for my dead plate restaurant job. Remember that? Oh, my coworker is hot. Don't back talk me in my own kitchen, you pig. Why couldn't he push me over this stuff? Right to jail. But I should stop talking to you guys because I gotta get to my job interview. I can't be late. Looks bad. I should know. I've been on like a million of them. You walk inside the lobby. It's busy. There's a receptionist desk, but they're on the phone. They show you away before you can ask anything. You're a soon-to-be employee here, because I'm going to get the job. Your interview's not on the first floor. You know that, at least. So wait, I don't know where my interview is. Just going to guess. The elevator doesn't have anyone inside when it opens for you. You step inside and click the button for the... Hold the door! Oh. Uh, um, as I was saying, I... I Traffic was awful today, am I right? Taxi barely made it on time, not like the boss will take that excuse again. I'm kind of trying to open the scene. Top floor. Oh, hello there, sir. Hello there, handsome sparkling sir. I see that sparkle next to you. Don't think I've seen you around here before. Who are you? I'm the new guy, because I'm going to get this job. I'm just that confident. Confidence. Let's just go with it in with confidence. I'm the new guy. I'm here for an interview with... Oh. So you're the new new, I getcha. I've been here for ages. You won't have to worry at all as long as I'm here. Um, go with, who are you? The name's Bryce Stryker. Of course it is. Of course that's his name. Full-time employee of the month, mountaineer of the corporate ladder, and part-time stock trader. There it is. I guess introdu introduce ourselves? The name's Chase Beckley. Make sure you remember it. Wait, I thought he said his name was something. Nothing more annoying than someone who won't take the time to learn your name, right? He definitely just gave me two names, right? I'm not crazy. He's the green text. I'm red. Right. Whatever I say doesn't matter to you, does it? Mm, sorry, I didn't catch all that. Whatever who says doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so we're trying to find our interview. We're stuck in an elevator with a hunky hot guy who's kind of a jerk. Okay, I don't know where I'm going, though. Uh, d what did I press? That doesn't usually happen, right? Oh, the lights? Why are you asking me? You think I know every office-related problem? Are the buttons still... Oh, um... Are we on the first floor? Go to the second floor. I don't know. Uh... Hello? What is a hole? What's the hole? This isn't the floor I need to get to. This isn't a floor anybody needs to get to. But there may be something we could use to safely get out of here on this floor. We should check this floor for anything useful. Good idea. I was about to say the exact same thing. Yeah, sure you were. So do you want to step out and check it out? Wait, you want me to go? I'm more of an ideas man. Sorry, pal. But it was my idea. Maybe you can head out while I stand guard in here. Make sure nothing bad happens while you're doing the easy work. But what if it's dangerous? I'm sure you'll think of something. You're the idea man, after all. Why are we immediately cautious of this floor? I don't know, but let's throw your shoe. What am I? What? Do you even realize how ridiculous that request is? These are Augusti Coo- Oh, I don't even know. Fine, I'll throw my own shoe. You threw out your own shoe. The shoe lies unharmed. Exit to floor? No, because I don't know what that is. Why would I want to go there? Is this the interview? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go to the back to the first floor. This button doesn't seem to work. What about three? Oh, okay. The elevator feels weirdly humid. I hear breathing. Goodbye. <laughs> Just not getting off anywhere. I have to find my interview, okay? I hear squeaking and nursery music. Huh? It's not opening. Eh, not too worried about it. For all we know, the answer's probably right behind our noses. You mean under? That's what I said. Okay. Um, nope, we're just gonna, we're just going to every floor. Can I just find my interview, please? I, oh, my mouth tastes funny. Oh no. Nuclear power plant? Nope, nope, 
No, I will find my interview. This is just a regular interview game situation. That's why my light is purple, okay? What's this? Oh, it's an office. Did I find it? Are all the cubicles this small? I wouldn't know. And an impressive enough first interview to get an office to myself. Of course you did. Look at all the sparkles. Wow. <laughs> he will be my boyfriend, even though he's a mean and an idiot. Would you happen to be related to any of the CEOs? How'd you know? Lucky guess. This is my new office. An office phone. Dial a number. No. Going through someone else's drawers is pretty rude. It's fine. Maybe I can find something. Oh, here we go. You found a job application questionnaire. Fill out the questionnaire. Uh, of course. Question one, what is the strongest attribute of a great employee? Ambition, morality, functional left kidney, and reliability. Hmm. Reliability? I feel like most people need somebody that's reliable so that they show up for work and do their job, right? That's the main attribute of a good employee. Not even gonna pay attention to the kidney comment. Question two, what is the second stage of grief? Anger, bargaining, confusion. Ooh, I always forget this. Anger, maybe, anger? Question three, how long do spent nuclear fuel remains radioactive? I don't know. A long time, uh, a thousand years? I don't know. Question four, there's no question. It's just asking me random ratios. When in doubt, answer with C. You put the finished form back in the drawers. what I do? You hear something rattling inside. When you open it again to check, you notice. Oh, uh, the paper tore itself in half. I got rejected. And six rejected. What did I do? Did I get torn in half in real life because the, what? Oh great, the lights behind me turned red. I must have died. <laughs> Cause this is a horror game apparently. What was that? Huh? That, that thing, did you not? Oh, am I remembering? Wait, are we in a time loop? What do you mean? Are you really that scared by the lights flickering? No, it's, eesh, the newbies just get sadder every year. What do you need to hold my hand or something? No, it's just, <sighs> Why don't you believe me? Don't, he shouldn't believe you. He just got into an elevator with you. You're spouting nonsense. Exactly. That's the spirit being way too optimistic about that. Where did we get last time? Would it be shallow to look for a cheat sheet of some kind? Or we could just go to another floor and escape our problems. Oh no, more problems. Ugh. Smells like roadkill in here. Something's definitely rotting. Yeah, so we're just going to go to another floor. I just need to go to my interview. What's this? Floor eight. It's us. Ugh, why do I look like that? Hello? Is it a mirror? This is my colleague, and I'm the newest employee here. It's nice meeting some friendly faces, and who would you two be? Uh, were you? I'm... The name's Clayton Co He keeps giving different names. Well, it's great to meet you two. Oh, I just got an idea. Maybe we can stick with you guys and work together. Uh, sure, that sounds nice. Twice the eyes looking for outs, and let's be real, between the two of us, it's not like these two morons are any help, right? Hey, so what do you say? Sure. Um, you wouldn't happen to know the weight limit for these things, right? No, I don't think so. Good, just making sure. Why? What does that mean? Uh-oh. What? What? Oh. Stranger danger! Ending eight! Okay, so they maybe they were in a bad elevator and they took our good working elevator and now we're gonna just die here? You think I know every office? Oh, God. I think I just died. Oh, did you? I must have been looking away. Do you not remember? Do you not care? Do you not remember? Oh, no, that couldn't have been it. My memory's great. Maybe you suffered some brain damage? Never mind, forget I said anything. Eh, this guy is not helpful at all. All right, we're not gonna go to floor nine or eight, we're gonna go to nine. Button scenes doesn't seem to work. All right, you know what? Then we're gonna start over with two. The whole one. What's this note? Ugh, something about this room feels awful. Like chewing on wads of cotton. Tell me about it. Who would pair a heart of palm wall paint with beach dune carpeting? I'd argue there's more upsetting parts, but he's not wrong about the color choices either. <laughs> Sticky notes stuck to the wall. Give it something alive. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. A hole in the wall. Put something in it? Sure. Oh, we don't have anything. Uh-oh. Weird, I don't see it. 
ending two whole. What was ending one? So we gotta get something. I know every office related problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm in a time loop. No, seriously, I think I'm dying. Really? How long have you been working here? People don't usually start saying that until at least a few months in. Ah, gotta find something to feed the hole. My glasses started fogging up when looking too close. Why can't I see anything? Because I think it's a giant animal of some kind. You can feel a warm breeze on your face. It's coming from the front. Step in. Sure. Maybe it's something alive I can feed the hole. Nope. I mean, it was. Yes. Yes, it was. Eddie 3 Dark. It was something that ate me. I didn't even get a chance to see what was inside or what killed me for that matter. Yeah, let's go try and see. You can feel a warm breeze. Yeah. Step in. We're going to say no. See if that chance. Oh. Yep, I guess we're safe. Okay. Oh, let's go to the meat room. Where was the meat room? Coworker, casually rests a hand against the wall while waiting for you. Ugh, oh, it's disgusting in here. Can we hurry it up? His hand is now covered with blood. What'd you do? What did you do? Seems there's blood coating everything in here. I'm gonna go back to keep being the lookout. You've been a real help. Good luck, buddy. What? He's wiping his hand on my suit. Ugh. Now I'm gonna have a blood stain on my shoulder for the interview. There are cutting lines drawn around it. All right, we need something. We need scissors or something. Will it not let me leave? It won't let me leave. What's happening? I broke the game. The meat was just too much. Don't worry, we're just in an infinite time loop, so I can always just come back. Uh, let's try four? Oh yeah, this seems like a happy place. Let's go here. Oh, it's not opening. I'm not too worried about it. For all we know, the answer's probably right behind our noses. Even under- oh yeah. He did say that last time. I said we have to look. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, no smoking sign. What? Make any progress? Coworker is taking out a cigarette. Oh God, what are you doing? I don't think you're allowed to be smoking that in here. Says who? Nobody important, Never mind. Uh oh, what are, what are you gonna do? Why didn't you say you had a lighter? Ooh, what could we use the lighter for? Anything? Can I have a light? Sorry, pal, I've only got the one tab and I'm not sharing it. Come on, I need it. I'm not splitting my cigarette with you. No matter how nicely you ask, newbie. No, not your cigarette, your- Ugh, it's going nowhere. Steel lighter, sure. Damn it! Oh, hey, the hell do you think you're doing? I already told you that thing isn't cheap. I'm trying to do something useful so we can get out. If you actually cared to help, you would have just handed me that from the start. Uh-oh. Do you think sharing everything I owned got me to this position of being able to afford this? Lay off and find something else. I'll use what I have. However, I... Oh, I'm doing... We're gonna die. Good job. Oh, okay. So I think every time I figure something out, it, like, adds to this? What's this? Whoa! So then up? You got all stiff and weird looking. Nothing, it's just... Was that door always, always here? Nothing I can remember, no. Right, must be getting deja vu, sorry. What's so familiar about it? Reminds me of my old place. Uh, the floors would creak? I think I just heard that. Eh, probably your head playing tricks on you. Try not to get too distracted by any of that. Right, thanks. Can we get in? The floors creak wherever I go, I need to make this quick. What? Bedside drawers, uh, open them? Sure. Open the drawers, nothing. And hear a voice coming from downstairs. Sweetie, is that you? Are you awake? Box hidden under the bed. Open it? Yeah. You open the box. The heck is that? Nothing but a useless drawing. What are you doing up there? You're supposed to be asleep. Uh, closet? Don't let them hear you. Uh, mirror? Flip it to look on the back? Sure. You flip the mirror. Nothing but you. You better be sleeping when I get there. Oh, uh, bed? Look under the sheets? Yeah. Look under the sheets. You found a sleeping pill. Are we good? Uh, what's this wall? Part of the wall's sewn up. But something sharp could open this. Yeah, I need a vent. It's screwed in tight. And hear something scratching from inside. Okay. I need a sharp object. I have a sleeping pill. Do we give the sleeping pill to the creature? All right, I'm going back to the office. Messy cigarette tray covered with burnt cigarettes. Pick up, uh, sure. Got a burnt cigarette. Great. Can I use the cigarette now? Can I have a light? Here, it turns out I had one too. Now can I have a light? Sure thing. Just be careful with it. You received the lighter. Ooh, what do I do with this? Oh yeah, we've been out here. It's probably not the best idea. Why is there a countdown? I feel like you'll melt just by looking at the pool. Oh, I have a countdown of like, you no know, uh, the back of your throat tastes like tinfoil. A warning. Oh, it plays when the- Um... I'm not feeling good. I think we should... 
The radiation, yeah, that sounds about right. Oh no, do I still have my stuff? I do, okay. Where are we going now? Oh, it's these guys again. Are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? I just wanted to check. Do you remember anything strange at all? Hmm. No, not that I can recall. Why do you ask? It's just, never mind. Make sure to stay safe is all. You know, the trick to negotiations is to crack the weaker one first. Oh, so this is different. When they get desperate enough, then you throw them a bone by acting like you understand them. You'll hook them for sure. Wait, I feel like he knows what happened last time. You sure you don't remember anything? Remember what? Never mind. What do we do with these guys? Set them on fire? <laughs> Set them on fire. Hmm. Let's avoid the question this time. Why do you want to know? Why wouldn't I? It's not every day you meet someone like you. What brings you two here? I missed the rest of the question. Yes? Well, that makes two of us. Say, I just got an idea. Maybe we could stick with you guys, work together. No. Well, at least we tried, right? Crap. 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 I think I was supposed to click on the other guy first. Because it said to break the weaker one. My bad. There we go. Can I speak with just him? Uh, uh, yeah, go right ahead. When did you- yeah, how long you been here? We, I- well, who can really say? It's been months! Yes, I, I broke him immediately. <laughs> the doors haven't budged, the walls go on forever. There's no way out besides the door. They haven't opened since we got here. What? Shut it. You have to let us take your place, please. We have to get out of here. Push them further. How long have you been stuck here? His wristwatch batteries ran out months ago. We don't know. Is that all you have with you? Just that and some scissors. <gasps> scissors! Scissors! I needed something sharp, scissors! Got nothing, nobody's come let us out. If you hand over the scissors and promise not to attack us, you can take our place. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Sorry. You post, press the close button before they can have a chance to come inside. No, no, I'll kill you. Okay, well, we can't go to that floor again. They're trying their best to force open the door from the other side of the elevator. Wow. Huh? Nothing. I just didn't know you had that in you. That was cold-blooded. Is this my interview? Maybe... <gasps> That's the twist. It's my inter... This is the interview. They were gonna replace us otherwise. You wouldn't get it. No, nah, I think I do. What? I mean, you didn't just brute force it or play dumb. You really pushed him to his limit. Got him to open up before taking what you needed. You make a great employee here is all I'm saying. See? It's the interview. Aye. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, oh, I get it. What, you think I'm part of this somehow too? Yeah, I do. Don't you trust me? Uh, no, I don't know you. See, you got nothing to worry about. You're with the same me as always. What? He's not real. I mean, what kind of employee would I be if I... Oh, he's not real. He was never real. He was never here to help. Um... Okay, so I went crazy. Just a little crazy. That was just a little bit crazy. Do I still have the scissors? <laughs> Tell me I still have the- I do, okay. Good. All right, um, where was the meat? <laughs> An animal carcass, yep. There are cutting lines drawn around it. Cut open the carcass. Yes, you cut through the carcass by following the dotted line. What's in there? <gasps> I know what to use this for! Size of the car- Blech. Makes a disgusting squelching sound as it gets warm blood. So I'm gonna look a mess for my interview. He took the screwdriver. Something tells you one is enough. What if I want to open this one first though? Avoid sharp objects. I didn't get too many more stickers. Um, oh yeah, can I use the scissors on this? Part of the wall sewn up. Cut wallpaper open with scissors? Yeah. Ew. What? The entire elevator wall seems to be made up of pulsating massive flesh. There is an old computer screen squeezed in among the lump. Something must be inserted for it to be booted up. Okay, let's open this. A vent. You can hear something scratching inside. Unscrew it? Sure. I'm sure that's a good idea. You pulled open the vent. There's a rat scuttling around in the vent. It squeaks at you. Ah, what is that? How'd that get here? Close the vent. Close the vent. Take rat? Yeah, why not? You got rat. You're touching it? Why are you holding it? Put it back. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with you? Yeah, what's wrong with- What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? You're the one holding that disgusting thing with your bare hands. Do you realize how dangerous that thing is? <laughs> ah! 
Ah! You're doing that on purpose. Okay, what's this computer? Something must be inserted. Oh, we need something to insert into it. Oh! Oh, I know what to do with the rats. We will insert the rat into the hole. The rat in? Yeah! It wants something alive. The rat starts trembling. Oh no! It squirms as it desperately tries to escape your grip. Force the rat in? Yeah, get in there. You put your hand in the hole and let the rat go. You can hear a, a low whisper coming from the hole. Grace. Grace. What do I do with that? Did I just get rid of my rat for no reason? Okay, I'm sure that's gonna come in handy somewhere. Yeah, there's gotta be something in here. Shouldn't be in here for long. Okay. Smudge writing on the walls. C-A-C-E. Okay, let's just leave. Let's just leave. Oh! C-A-C-E? Let's try it. Why not? C A. A C and E. D. Oh, no! I'm dumb. I can't count. <laughs> My bad. I just realized the first answer is a functional left kidney. <laughs> there we go. Now what do I get? The form has been replaced with something else. Oh, is that a phone number or code? I think it's the phone number. Okay, this was the number. You deserve a treat. I'll deliver it to you next time. I'll call. Make sure to come pick me up. Okay, so can I just like restart it this way instead of dying? <laughs> Because I need to go back and see if that phone rings. Yep. You hear a phone ringing. Because it said next time. Okay. <gasps> oh. Why do I feel like this is a trap? A sweet looking cake. Take it, of course. You took the cake. You could probably hide the sleeping pill in the cake. Oh, okay. Combine the two. You now have a drugged cake. Yay! Just what I needed. Let's go back to the floors and see what we haven't accomplished yet. Oh, perfect. The monster thing. You can feel a warm breeze on the face. Okay. Light it up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just a giant mouth. Feed it drugged kid. Yeah, sure. You threw it in. You hear a loud snore roaring out. The floor is now asleep. It should be safe to look around now. You notice something shiny is stuck between the teeth. Pull it out. Yeah. A CD. <gasps> For the computer. Thank you, mouth. Put it in here. Yeah. Yes. Insert the CD. And put a five digit passcode. Oh, is it, is this the raise? I knew, I knew this would come into handy. Raise? You have access to floor nine. <gasps> ooh, ooh. What's on floor nine? Okay, okay, okay. Oh! Oh, is it my interview? I did it! Oh good, you made it! I was worried you'd gotten lost. Please, take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, is this another, is this a test? I'll take a seat. I, this is what I'm here for. Oh, thank you. What do I do? Oh, wait. Have I just never noticed there's a call help button? Yeah. I mean, it's probably going to be terrible, but yeah. Hello, this is Manuel speaking, the building maintenance and safety head. What can I help you with? Oh, thank God. Yes, we're stuck in one of the elevators. Can you help us get the doors open? Um, are you still there? What can I help you with? We're stuck in an elevator. Yes, I can send help with that. Our safety team is on its way. Oh, make sure not to stand too close to the walls. If someone is injured, do not look at them. What? And finally, don't press X and we'll be there to assist you within the next 30 seconds. Thank you so much. Did he hang up? Thank you for calling the building maintenance and safety head. Bye. I love you. Did he say I love you? What? What did he say at the end? Call clicks off. <clears throat> um, what? <sighs> what? There's a timer. Uh, is this how you get like the first ending that I never got? Is this just like a good regular ending? So was the I love you in the script? It sounded like everything was saying he was saying was scripted before that bit. You heard that too? I couldn't tell either. Hey, I'm glad I wasn't the only one. It just seemed really out of left field. Help has arrived. The elevator door finally opens. What? I sorry about that. Thank you so much for coming so quickly. Took it. You know, I should have known. I should have known that, but still, still caught me by surprise.
Should have known. All right, back up to my interview, I guess. <laughs> Wasn't ending one. All right, let's see. Uh, in hindsight, that was the only way that was gonna go. Okay, so then do I just turn him down? I was worried you'd gotten lost. Please come take a seat. No, thank you. Of course, wherever you feel best. It's nice finally getting to meet you. You're here for your first day, right? I thought it was my interview. Did you just take one look at me and you were like, I'm gonna hire that person because I get it. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing, I'm in an interview. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Glad to hear it. Did you find your way all right? Any hiccups? I had zero trouble. Thank heaven for that. I've heard some of the new employees get lost easily. I'm glad you're competent to have least gotten here on time. Right. I see you had a senior to help with any questions you had. How was your time spent with your colleague? He was unhelpful, but better than being alone. He was helpful and great to have around. He was a good resource. He was truly useless. He was great to have around? I don't know. He was fine. Oh, that's good! It's always nice when the tools you have work how they're supposed to. What? Speaking of how easily you fared getting here, are your lungs working all right? <laughs> yes? Great! Sorry about asking, I just hadn't seen it on your resume. It must not have crossed my mind. What is your greatest fear? Failing this interview. Yeah, failing this interview. After all this? Oh, haha! -ha. Am I intimidating you? You're not not intimidating me. I assume you were doing it on purpose. I get that a lot. That's nothing to worry about, though. Fear of failure is what keeps the most successful people going strong. How did you hear about this position? Well, I heard about it through the paper. And what about it drew you to it? What made you want this job? Am I doing good in this interview? I don't know. Now let's go with a more real answer. I need to make money. Oh, but work here is so much more than just another step in your paycheck. W why? Hmm. Why is it more than just getting paid? Can I just clock in for work? Do what's asked of me? Get my paycheck and live more personally on my own time? Oh god. D did I say something wrong? What would you consider your biggest weaknesses? I guess that was the wrong- that was the wrong answer. My personality? <laughs> indecisiveness? Mm, point and click escape rooms. I mean, in reality, indecisiveness is definitely a weakness of mine. That's nothing to worry about! Our policies here are pretty forgiving if you end up saying the wrong thing or have a hard time making a decision. Consequences to previous mistakes are always something that you can learn from. Just remember, you'll always have the chance to make a different choice. If you have more questions, we can loop back around to the topic later. That's fine, I think I'm getting the point. Last but not least, why should we hire you? I'm irreplaceable. I'm a problem solver. Functional left kidney. Oh, we know this from the test. I have a functional left kidney. It said that was what you guys cared about the most. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Did you have any questions on your end? What? Well, thanks again for making it. I've got another meeting soon, so we'll have to discuss further inquiries later. Oh, but one more thing. He reaches to shake your hand. Oh God, what's gonna happen? Welcome aboard the team. <gasps> I did it! I did it. You received the key. Consider this as a welcome gift. Hopefully, we'll talk again soon. All right, this is my stop. Huh? What? Did you forget that easily? I got a meeting up here on the top floor. This is where I get off. Uh, all right. Wait, I almost forgot. I need to give your lighter back. Don't worry about it. You can give it back when we go for break, yeah? Yeah, I'll see you then. Is this heaven? Did we die? The coworker steps off the elevator. Did we both get on the elevator and then die? In the big of an eye, he's gone. You can't see him anymore. You're alone on the elevator now. A keyhole with the word lobby written above it. Put the key in. You use the key. Now have access to the first floor. I did it. You hurriedly get off the elevator. Um. Hey, watch where you're going. What's the hurry? What are you leaving? You just got here. You passed your interview. What reason do you have to be upset? You did what you came here to do, didn't you do good enough? Why would you want to just leave after all that? What did you expect? Do you realize how many people would kill to be in your position? You haven't even worked one day and you're already throwing it away. Are you gonna quit that easily? You've barely even done anything. How do you expect to live on your own out there if you can't even do the simple task? Why are you giving up all the work you've done to get here? Don't you need this job? You need this job. You need this job need this job. I... I need this job. Please watch where you're going in the future. What? Ending one. I did it. 
Okay, well, I did it. I got the job. That's all that matters, right? My theory is that we got into the elevator and it crashed and we died. That was some sort of heaven situation. I don't know. That makes it cooler. <laughs> There's like 15 endings and I think I got like a little more than half. So feel free to go try and find the rest.